All right, we're smoking some chicken today, guys. Our chicken watering situation uh, has not been very good lately because we have over 50 chickens in here and they've been flying through that water. I've been filling up these two waters three times a day. And these guys are three weeks old now and they've been flying through this little water too. This is completely empty. Been filling up this twice a day. So that tells me that I need to make a water for these guys. A nipple water, just like how we made our big ones. Uh, I need to make one for these guys because they're getting just getting bigger. Everybody is drinking more water. I'm doing something a little bit different with this water. Something that I've always thought about and wanted to do. But I need some materials. I think this might do. Here's one right here that I might be able to use. I want to use these things. I'm not really using these right now. So I figured I'd take this off. I need to have this up here and i need two of them this one i think is okay where it's at but it's this one that i need to take off and relocate all right this bucket is no good sometimes these hole saws can be tough to loosen up so i like to stick it on the drill tighten it get some kind of pliers or wrench stick it in the hole of the hole saw like that, and then put it in reverse. It comes right off. And then I want this size of a hole saw. I'm gonna screw that on there. Now I got a fresh new sow the land bucket. And I'm gonna drill the hole up top on the side here. I'll put some links to where I got these. Uh, I really like these, they're just, they're threaded. You can use these for various applications. Here I'm gonna pop it in this hole. And then I'm gonna tighten it up. It has a rubber washer on the inside so it won't leak. And I'm not too tight, just enough. This, this I don't think I'll need, but I'm gonna save this for a future project. Marker, I need a marker. No pencils in the work workshop, no pens, no markers, no nothing. Where do they go? All right, there's the marker I'm looking for. Are you listening to Christmas music? Yes. Christmas music in June? Yes. I usually use these chickle, chickle these chicken nipple waterers. Say that three times fast. Chicken nipple water, chicken nipple water, chicken nipple water. And then I install them by putting them in the bottom of the bucket and the chicken comes and drinks it. They work great. But I'm gonna try these little cups. The chicken, it's more of like a, how a natural way a chicken can drink with their beak down instead of up. Just kind of decide where do you want it. Five of these all in the front. What I like to do when I'm installing these, whether it's the chicken nipple waterers or these ones, um, I like to use a sacrificial bucket uh, because you're not really sure what this size of this threaded insert is. So just you want to get it accurate. It needs to be tight, and but not too loose. This is an old bucket. It has holes in the bottom of this. So I don't really use this, but I'm going to use it for this. It's barely tight. Uh, this is 516, so maybe if I do one of those, I think that'll work. These also have a rubber washer at the end, so you shouldn't have to cover it with some plumbing tape or anything like that. It's funny how you accumulate some certain things over time. When we first moved here, we didn't have anything. No like spare parts, no spare tin, no spare wood. It was just a blank canvas. And now in five years, you know, we, we've kind of accumulated things like this leader hose. I've had this for a couple years already. <laughs> Never used it. But now I'm using it, you know, before I would have to just go buy everything and I just have this laying around. We're gonna need that, screw gun, hook. All right, let's go install this thing. Might need a chain. What are you guys doing? We're harvesting our spinach. We got like a whole bunch here. Wow. All spinach. And then I got some radish in here too and some kale. This is our bok choy, it looks really good. It's baby bok choy, so I'm like, mm, do I pick it now or? Because with bok choy, you just pretty much harvest the whole thing. And I'm kind of afraid because it's so pretty and I'm like, if I pick it, it'll be gone. <laughs> How's your knee doing? It's fine, it's healed. Yeah, she, she got a last 
video or so, she had a big spider bite, or we think it's a spider. Yeah, so last Tuesday I was out here planting the tomatoes, or transplanting the tomatoes, and I knelt down on my knee and something, something bit me. I'm pretty sure it was a spider. My knee swelled up really bad. So pretty much for a whole week, it's been a week, I was out. Like I, my knee swelled up, my, my chest was tight, I started wheezing. I've been dizzy. I mean, I did call urgent care, so I mean, we did we did deal with urgent care, so it wasn't like I was just trying to deal with it on my own. Um, I do have an EpiPen now, but it took like a whole week to recover. I couldn't even walk on it, it was just so bad. We're gonna attach this hook on the outside here. We're gonna attach this hook here. Whoa! Sorry about that guys, it dropped you. All right, and then hang the second bucket, which I'd never do this before. Like that. And then we're gonna hang this. I think, I mean, the idea is, I mean, I like, I'm hoping this works because for the other one I have, you have to move it up and down as the chicken gets bigger and taller. This one, I think you could just leave it low to the ground, or fairly low, so that way the chickens can drink from it, and you don't have to keep on moving it up and down. And these chickens are so little still that it pretty much has to be really low to the ground like that. What'd you get? Eggs and spinach. All right, those look good. <laughs> I think, I believe dinner's ready. I still have to make my steak. I didn't eat a big breakfast. Because I know we're going to be smoking that chicken. So dinner time is always a good time. Or so, sometimes I only eat one meal. Is it ready? Yeah, it's ready. So I need help. Can you hold this for me while I take it out? Yeah. Got it? It's a big bird. I'm going to have some T-bone steak. I got three steaks here. I'm not going to have them all. I'm going to have this one. And then these two steaks are the steaks that we got from that half a cow. Which I have not had yet. And I, but I want to get through this other steak that we bought at the store. We're saving our scraps, guys. Don't, don't, we're not promising anything, but we might be getting pigs soon, soon. So we've been saving our crap, our scraps <laughs> in bags and then we're freezing it um, just in case, just in case. I'm just, I'm just saying a little hint. Also letting the meat rest is key, I think, to have a good steak for at least the way I like it. You made pumpkin custard? Yeah, so this is pumpkin custard. It's not technically, because pumpkin pie is a custard, but it's not technically a pie because there is no pie crust, because you can't have pie crust. But this is pretty much just pumpkin puree. The reason why it looks funny is because I, I baked it yesterday. Pumpkin puree, three eggs, half a cup of honey, and a tablespoon of pumpkin pie spices and some sea salt. So, I mean, we made a bigger one yesterday. This was just the leftovers. And technically, I mean, I can't have pumpkin. I mean, that's one of the least squash. toxic foods. Yeah, it's a squash. You know, maybe not some of the spices, but you know, you know, it's all right. It was actually really good. I mean, it, I missed, I missed the pie crust, but um, it was good. It was like eating like a little custard. We're gonna go back outside after dinner and finish up that water. But what are you guys having? You having beans? We have beans and cheese and chicken. And I'm having a steak and chicken. This is one of our chickens from last year. And how many do we have left? Do we have a whole lot? We have three counting this one. So two in the refrigerator. Two left. No, actually, that's not true. We still have small ones, really small ones in the freezer. There's probably like maybe three left, but those really small ones we're just gonna make broth with. Luckily, because we have processing day coming up soon. Let's get back to work here. I need to connect to this part right here with the bottom bucket that's inside. I'm gonna use this this hose here, but you know, this is too long. I don't need it that long, but it's gonna basically screw in there and then we gotta pop a hole in here to put it, hook it up to this bucket down here. I'm gonna cut a little opening here. It looks weird because we're on a hill and it's slanted. So I think when, when we're on level ground, it's sort of work a little bit better. Just gonna connect this, these two together basically. 
And that's why I didn't put these cups on the back side of this. Because it was gonna, I knew it was gonna hit against this. So, I mean, this is not really meant for those type of things. But maybe if I could extend this arm out a little bit, maybe. Or hang it from the top. But I'm gonna try this right now. Moment of truth. Fill the bucket up in here, and then hopefully it'll trickle down in there. <laughs> yeah, it's doing it. This is so we don't have, this is so that I don't have to come in here with the water bucket, I can just do it from the outside. And you press this to fill it up with water. The chickens are supposed to hit that and then this will fill up with water and then they'll drink from the cups. Now I hope they fill up automatically. The chickens are drinking out of this but I had to fill this up by pressing that. I've never used these these particular ones before so uh, I hope I don't have to always do that. <laughs> But yeah, we'll see guys. I mean, so far so good. It looks like it's gonna work. All right, come on, show's over. Come on, come on guys. Show's over. Some fresh water now. There you go. Hopefully I won't have to fill it up three times a day. And we're trying guys, we're trying to get this garden going still. This time last year, it was it was going off. Hey, meat chickens. What are you guys doing? You guys are being lazy. I'm gonna be using this now. This, this little propane thing is so much easier <laughs> to be burning holes in there. Uh, it's just more convenient than having the cumbersome big giant propane tank. All right, what are you planning, Penelope? Um, lettuce. All right, looks good. Good job. We also got okra planted. We have cucumbers growing already. Like this is the most we planted all year, so this is kind of nice just to for this little bit just to get going. All right, time for bed, chickens. Feed you. 